time to introduce the starting five for your Oklahoma City Thunder! At card, 6 8, number 3, Josh Kitty! And forward, 6 3, number 5. The power forward position, standing six foot five, number eight, Jalen Williams. In the middle, seven feet one inches, number seven, Chad Holmgren. At guard. 6'6", six, six. number two, Shane Gilgis Alexander! Thanks for joining our Tuesday night broadcast of the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, our terrific analysts, and David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. A moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for Lou Dort. And looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points. And they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. Looking at the starting five for the Atlanta Hawks. In at small and power forward, it's Hunter and Bay. In the backcourt, it's the Stars, Young and Murray. And it's Capella in at the center, filling out the middle. And for the Thunder, the post pair form will be Williams and Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander out there with Josh Giddy. And it's George in at the three. And Greg, taking a look at this one here tonight, the clash at the guard positions oh. really stands out. No question about it. Both teams rely heavily on their backcourts to get it done. And I'm interested to see which backcourt brings it tonight. Murray, no good. Here's Oklahoma City now. Passes it to Gilgis Alexander. Now here's Giddy. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Oklahoma City moving it around. And the jump by Holmgren. And attacking the rim. Holmgren making excellent use of that height inside. Gilgis Alexander against Young. Murray down low. The Thunder pull it in. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. And the difference in that one, the efficiency from range. They really focused on getting good looks. It looked like the directive in that game was that they wanted to attack and all that work that they put in on the perimeter turned into a big night for deep. And this is the attack mindset you want to see coming into the game. Tone setting right here early. Love that tenacity. And the Thunder with the possession here. Last time these two teams came together was also in this building. They were able to win it for the home fans. And really brought an impressive physicality to that matchup. Drawing a ton of fouls and of course went on to win it. No doubt that's what made the difference. The aggression they showed. Attacking, drawing contact. It got them points at the line and made foul trouble a big concern on the other side. And Atlanta has possession. The Thunder making the shot. Young from outside. It's good from long range. Well, if you're going to allow Trey to squeeze off a three, he's going to squeeze hard. Young against Gilgis Alexander. Giddy with it. Provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Great. You just don't see many point guards taller than 6'8", but Josh Giddy is one of them. And Josh does a great job, Greg, of using that size to his advantage. He gets into positions on the floor where he can see over the level of the defense and make some spectacular passes. Here we go. 
And you look at the Thunder style of play, very fast paced. And, and because of that, they put up a lot of shots. And their goal really is to overwhelm you and wear you down. Of course, they allow plenty of shot attempts as well. Well, if you overplay Trey Young, he will go right by you. He's going to make that adjustment. Bounce pass from Williams. Giddy against Murray. And Capella over to help. Holmgren can't hit. And really, despite that miss, they've had a solid start offensively. Capella finds Murray. Gilgis Alexander against Young. Capella with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. No one covered. Trey Young. Young's got a couple of threes now in the first with the Hawks. Great to watch Trey Young set plays up on a nightly basis. Giddy against Murray. And Sadiq Bey picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Second team foul. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in, Dort passes to Giddy. The Hunter's trying to make an impact on the defensive end right now. Giddy, no good. Here's Murray in Atlanta again with the bucket. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, right now I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Now here's Giddy. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Utah. And guys, the other thing that he did well was just facilitate the offense, pass the ball around beautifully in that one, seriously put on a passing clinic. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Looking at DeJounte Murray, it's amazing, Bren, how well he recovered from a serious injury just a few years ago. Uh, you never know how a guy is going to bounce back from an ACL injury and a complete year off from basketball, but he is back to full strength and he has been awesome. One shot. He throw good Murray. Since moving to Atlanta in 1968, Greg, the Hawks have never been to the NBA Finals. That is insane, Kevin. I mean, you think back to all the great players they've had from Dominique Wilkins to now Trey Young. Hawks fans are hungry for a trip to the Finals. Timeout is called first of the game for the Thunder. For your Thunder month these have been the most productive NBA rookie scores second Chet Holmgren and those numbers have started to set him apart offensively from most of the other rookies in the league it's stolen by Capella oh and a fast break for Atlanta here's Young finish off the break that's 10 points for Trey Young. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. And so it's Oklahoma City with it, trailing by 10. 
outside, Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Holmgren. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. Holmgren's got his second bucket of the night. The pass to Capella. Kicks it to Young. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Giddy the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Going inside. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Gilgis Alexander up there. So dynamic as a finisher. And so Young will bring it up for the Hawks. Seven point differential. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Nuggets. And that was a tough one. They expected to play well and did. Just not well enough. Categorically, you look at that box score from that last game and they outplayed their opponent in so many areas. I thought it was going to at least come down to a buzzer beater, but it did not. And what an alley you Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. Pass to Young. It's tipped. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. Here's Holmgren. And the dunk by Holmgren. And looking to get stronger, Holmgren fights through the bump. Tons of time for him to grow into that frame. The Hawks leading by three. Young outside. He kicks it to Hunter. Capella with a screen on George. Hunter, the pass to Capella. And the dunk by Capella. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Pass to Holmgren. Here's George. Holmgren with a screen on Hunter. Dort passes to Holmgren. And the dunk by Holmgren. I mean, sneaky. But when he moves around the floor, Holmgren takes you out of the play, slips past, and just rolls to the hoop. Atlanta's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Young dishes to Murray. Pass to Hunter. Let's it go with a three. Rebound by Williams. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He had a 30-point outing their last game against Utah. Yeah, but it didn't deter him from attacking defensively. His pressure was terrific. He also got three steals in that game. And money from the stripe. SGA can close his eyes and knock that down. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Hawks. A, a huge part of their offense, pushing the ball. Looking for fast break opportunities, always a good idea. Well, they've also done a great job of taking turnovers and producing out of that, working really hard that they're not wasting extra chances that they're creating. And, Greg, with back-to-back -back games part of the schedule, how do teams feel getting into the latter part of that combo, like tonight? Well, these games can be especially taxing mentally and physically. At this point, it's a war of attrition and really who can survive the night. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. And how can you not love the game of SGA? I mean, a young guard who continues to get better. Yeah, Greg, all the reports you get out of OKC is that this kid is a worker, and he has turned himself into an all-star with that kind of work ethic. Now here's Murray. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Denver. Yeah, but there's always this point you got to look at where did he also impact the game? It was on the rebounding end of the floor. A tremendous performance there. Yep, it counts. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. The Hawks trailing. Murray scanning the floor. The pass to Young. Back to Murray. Fires 
the three. Good. Score the basket. Mark him four for eight. Shooting 50% so far. And wasting no time DeJounte Murray off the catch. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He has six. Williams a screen on Young. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Two points. That one goes. Gilgis Alexander's got eight. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Atlanta's gone three and six, 50% from deep so far tonight. And Young kicks to Capella. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Shot clock at six. Pass to Murray. Shot from free throw range. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Holmgren's got four rebounds in this game. And here is Gilgis Alexander. He's got eight. And Gilgis Alexander throws it down. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. Here's Capella following the score by Oklahoma City. Here's Young. Gets the 14-footer to fall. Assisted. Young's got it all tied up now for Atlanta. Well, Capella at that size really has no issues spotting the open man. Gilgis Alexander against Young. And Gilgis Alexander, here we go. And Gilgis Alexander throws it down. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, well, that settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. And now the first timeout called here for the Hawks. Here they go. Check the numbers for him. And the biggest takeaway when you look at his numbers is how good his three-point shooting has been the past five games. He's finding the open spots on the perimeter, and when he's getting good looks, boy, he is not missing. Murray outside. Back to Bogdanovich. A three ball. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Passes to Giddy. Shoots over Matthews. Can't connect from 14 feet out. This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. Okongwu finds Murray. Murray sets a screen for Bogdanovich. Good on the triple. And the Hawks lead by one. I think he's just going to get more and more confident from behind the arc and become a more consistent scorer in this league as time goes by. Wasted no time on that one. Gilgis Alexander's got 14 points. He's got a lot to do with the position that they're in a very smart offensive performance tonight for him. And that'll be open on the city's ball as it goes out of bounds. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. You look at the Thunder, off to a great start this season, currently in second. And you know, for the Thunder, they're proving that all the talk we heard about them in the preseason was warranted. What a role this group's been on here early on. And don't count on that coming to an end anytime soon. The talent level of this squad is off the charts. And with the momentum they're gathering here early in the year, it could steamroll through the season. Catching up on the changes for Oklahoma City. Williams comes in for Holmgren. And it's Micic in for Josh Giddy. Williams shot is off. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. And that one's good, Griffin. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. There have been a lot of lead changes. My goodness. 105 left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. It's good for the seventh time this game. He has shot seven. He has made seven. Man, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. 
Here's Bogdanovich. He's coming off a 40-point game against Denver. The pass to Okongwu. Back to Young. It's good for the seventh time this game. He's shot seven. He has made seven. Man, we see this from Trey often, his ability to take over games with his scoring. 46 seconds left in the first. Young against Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Joe. Here's Micic. Pocket six. Williams a screen. From about 16, again, Oklahoma City. So far, both teams scorching the Nets. You gotta love it. Yeah, made for TV game here. Pace is great, scoring is coming in bunches, and both of the teams feeling confident right now. Here's Young, 16 points for him. Again, the Hawks score. Feeling out the defense, Trey Young with great patience there, and then just enough room to squeeze one off. And that concludes a back and forth high scoring first quarter of play. The Bucks lead by two. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play and for the Hawks guys what stands out to you stands what well they use the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set yeah they did a great job just the initial thrust of that attack as soon as they got the ball constantly in transition Williams is out there with Williams then there's Shea Gilgis Alexander and it's Joe in at the three, the small forward. That's the group for Oklahoma City getting going here on the second. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Thunder trailing by four. In regard to the Thunder, they had to go through, Greg, a rebuilding process not too long ago. Yeah, it was a tough couple years, but they had a plan in place and did it the right way. They made some smart signings and created a very balanced roster. Now here's Matthews, still without a basket. Okongwu a screen. Here's Bogdanovich. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. Well, Bogdanovich, we saw a little bit of this during the All-Star weekend. He can play with a little bit of flair. And you know he's confident when he starts to show those signs. Oklahoma City's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Passes it to Gilgis Alexander. Over Young. Well placed jumper from the free throw line. Gilgis Alexander's got 18 points. Man, boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. First personal foul. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. And with the big collisions we see in the paint, and Greg, there are some. Some have argued for changing the charge rule. Did you see that? And you know, there's talk of extending the restricted area. And I've even heard some say ban charges by health defenders. I like the form idea. That seems less extreme. And so it's Atlanta with it, following the score by Oklahoma City. And here's Bogdanovich for three. Another three for Atlanta. 
and good recognition there from Trey. It's part of his role. He's got to find open guys. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. Williams a screen. Atlanta foul. For the Thunder, Williams is checked in for Williams. And it's Dort in for Michich. Substitution for your Thunder. Lucas Dort. Here's Dort. Scoreless thus far. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Down to five on the shot clock. And the shot goes in. Coaches love Gilgis Alexander and the way that he's working. He's refusing to give in against that kind of airtight defense. Defensive break. Wow. Isn't it amazing the way Trey Gilgis Gilles. Alexander has polished off his game? The footboard, Kevin, is impeccable. Three level score makes every shot imaginable. And what's scary, this guy still has another level to get to. Here we are, Greg, watching Atlanta. This team has a lot of firepower. And some great scores, Kevin. They don't just launch threes. They like to work for good shots inside the arc as well. Bogdanovich with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. He dialed that one up from long distance. Young's got 21. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Joe passes to Dort. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Matthews with the rebound. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. Here's Young. Outside for Griffin. A second chance effort. And again, it's Atlanta. That's the kind of pass you want there. Work the ball around. Keep it moving. Try to get an assist on every bucket. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 21. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. He's making plays all over the floor. Gilgis Alexander will not be stopped. Now, here is Young. He's coming off a 19-point game against Denver. And it was not a one-man show. That was the best part. He had just as good a game with his passing as he did with his scoring. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift-wrapping points. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Trailing by 10. With the drive. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, this guy is one of the most athletic guards in the league. SGA off the charts. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Here's Young. He's got 23. Pass to Griffin. Matthews against Williams. Matthews dishes to Young. Five to shoot. Okongwu with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Connects from three-point range. Three points. And that makes it two three-pointers in the quarter so far at four for the game. Gilgis Alexander, a screen on Bogdanovich. Young with the steal. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich has got the lead up to 13 now for Atlanta. Bogdanovich making it happen right there and taking some initiative. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldrin. Well, DeJounte Murray grew up in South Seattle. He said a lot of stuff goes on. It was rough. But NBA veteran and fellow Rainier Beach graduate Jamal Murray tried to help him. Murray says, he always stay positive with me and my family. He'd say, that kid has a chance. And every summer we play pickup. I knew I could be okay if I stayed working. Kevin? And he did. DA, thanks so much for the report.
No good on that. He hits the second from the one. The Hawks leading by 12. Murray, the pass to Bogdanovich. Back to Murray. Hunter with it. The Hawks working the ball around. Capella sets a screen for Bogdanovich. Feeds to Capella. Holmgren with the steal. To the right side. Micic cranes the three-pointer. Micic has got it back down in a single-digit deficit for Oklahoma City. Atlanta calls timeout. Greg, we were just talking about Chet Holmgren, and he's a lot tougher, I think, than his frame might indicate. Physically and mentally, he does not back down. In fact, he's often the one who initiates contact. You think you're going to bully him? He's going to try to bully you. This gives us the chance to view the best three-point shooting teams this season. The real stats, the real scores from the real NBA. Number one, the Thunder. The threat of deep shooting makes everything easier offensively. They've been incredibly accurate from long range. Here's Hunter, still yet to score. Shoots over towards. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Under trailing by nine. Williams passes to Micic. And here is Gilgis Alexander. Tries the spin move. Six to shoot. Steps back and fires. Again, Oklahoma City. Great quarter at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. Murray kicks to Bay. Back to Murray. Hunter, a three. Rebound by Williams. And that was almost a block. Still did enough to alter the shot. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss. That kind of energy not wasted. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Comes up empty from eight feet. Bogdanovich inside. Ten points for him. Marie finds Bogdanovich. Capella with a screen on Dort. A three from Bogdanovich. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got four rebounds in this game. Holmgren in the corner. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got his seventh assist here tonight. Now here's Murray. Very solid contribution from him as he averages over 20 points a game. Now I'd draw that one up again. Throw it up, Capella jump, you slam it through. That's an easy two. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up for Oklahoma City. Six point game. Holmgren with a screen on Hunter. Dort against Hunter. Holmgren with a screen on Murray. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And the bucket is good. Three point play chance here for him. 
feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. Josh Giddey's checked in for Oklahoma City. Griffin's checked in for the Hawks. Personal foul. 14 foul. At the line for your Oklahoma City, Shane Gilgis Alexander. One shot. That's good from Gilgis Alexander. Atlanta leading by three. Murray, the pass to Bay. Over Williams. And it comes off the front of the rim. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Giddy kicks to Dort. Gilgis Alexander against Murray. Well, combine the handles and the quickness, and Shea Gilgis Alexander becomes a handful. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. stretch of play the last 10 games putting up about 18 points per five assists and four rebounds and very few players in the league can go out and produce like he has just a great stretch for him he keeps playing like this and you know in arenas especially at home when the star player is playing this well those MVP chants come raining down and there's the call on Lou George that's his first foul second team foul Hunter finds Bay. The Hawks working the ball around. Now, here's Hunter. Six on the shot clock. And, and thought that pass was going to get through, but no. All of a sudden, he was going the other way with the basketball. Gilgis Alexander's nothing if not a creator. He can make that pass in his sleep. The Atlanta's gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. Griffin passes to Murray. Out to the wing. The 10 foot. And the rejection by Holmgren. Murray against Gilgis Alexander. Williams a screen on Murray. Gilgis Alexander passes to Giddy. Off target from outside. The Hawks trailing. Hunter kicks to Murph. And the rejection by Holmgren. Long 7-1 with that 7-6 wingspan. Holmgren can alter a block just about every shot in his vicinity. Now here's Giddy. The 11-footer. And Oklahoma City again with the button. And breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Thunder. I love the defensive concentration so far in this one. They're getting out on shooters and really doing a great job of disrupting the rhythm. They've done a great job tonight of getting out in transition, so that focus on fast break adds to your total in a hurry. Capella controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. 
Capella, one of the best offensive rebounders in the league. It's because of his activity. And there's the pass to Williams. Giddy with it. Holmgren sets the screen for Giddy. And the dunk by Holmgren. That's a nice set. Chet, he's an ideal pick and roll partner. Trail by three. Murray gets to Capella. Pass to Griffin. The three. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. And here's Gilgis Alexander outside. And so it's Capella with it. He brings it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Next game for him, they'll take on the Raptors at Toronto. That'll be the second on the road in the midst of this long four game road stand. The dish to Griffin. For three, Murray score the basket is fifth of the game. He's missed six shots against those five makes. Well, Murray's got the range. It's the consistency he's looking for. Here's Oklahoma City now. They're on a 20 to 7 run. Holmgren with a screen on Murray. It's Gilgis Alexander with the drive. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Murray against Gilgis Alexander. Shoots from 12. And Atlanta again with the bucket. Assisted by DeJounte Murray. There's 25 seconds left in the second quarter. Murray against Gilgis Alexander. Five on the clock. Holmgren with a screen on Murray. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. And he trains the three, but let's see. They may need to review it. I'm not sure the ball was out of his hand in time. The previous play is under review. Bring out the monitor and see if he got that shot off in time. And the NBA replay center in Secaucus is queuing it up. And, and even before we look at the replay, I, I'm pretty sure he got that off in time. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. Now they're going to switch the call. There is no doubt when looking at the replay that he got it off in time. Well, it's good they decided to take another look at it. I know some folks don't like how replay slows the game down and interrupts the flow, but when you have it there, you got to use it. Trey Young, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Atlanta Hawks. He ends up dropping in two from distance, making a difference from long range in this one. Right back after this break. Thanks for tuning in. Did you miss us? Before we discuss the game at hand, let's first check out the upcoming schedule. And looking at the Kings matchup, that's one they feel good about. I mean, they're confident that they'll take care of business, but by no means is it a slam dunk. I feel you've been saving that one, Kenny. Turning our attention back to the Thunder, they're in a real tooth and nail fight here at the break. Here we go again. They're way too focused on the three shot, in my opinion. Stop wasting possessions at the arcs. Start going inside. Jeez. You got to have balance, man. Otherwise, the defense knows exactly what you're going to do. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. 
You know, Shea Gilgis Alexander has been exceptional here tonight, guys. And the way he goes at defenders, he is bound to get to the line just like he did there in that first half. Yeah, almost inviting contact, that attack mentality on full display. And so in the game for the Hawks, outside the wings are Murray and Hunter. In the post, it's Bay and Capella. And it's Young in at the point. Williams gets the bucket. You, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. And here we are watching Jalen Williams. Brett, there's a certain calm to his game, isn't there? Yeah, he's comfortable because he really can do a lot of things on the floor, so there's nothing that's going to really shut him down. It's very hard to speed this guy up. He gets an opportunity to play at his pace. That's a gift. Oklahoma City trailer. Now, Gilgis Alexander. And stolen by Hunter. It's Young on the wing. Shoots over Holmgren. It's rebounded by Giddy. The Thunder shooting an unbelievable 70%. You won't see a performance like this too often. Holmgren sets the screen for Gilgis Alexander. And Holmgren the bucket on the assist from Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren's got the game tied up here for the Thunder. Hawk shooting a tremendous 61% from the floor. Hitting at all cylinders. Young pass to Hunter. Murray a screen on Dort. Hunter kicks to Young. Shot clock at five. Capella sets a screen for Young. Three-pointer. Dort grabs the miss. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now here's Williams. Nine points in the game so far. Back to Gilgis Alexander. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. Well, the talk at halftime must have been a good one right now. Three straight buckets to start the quarter. This is it to Young. To come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Now they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. One of four to start the half. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Rebound by the Hawks. And after burying three straight shot opportunities, finally a miss there. Still feeling the momentum though. And Young, here we go. Count it good. And that's now 30 points for Trey Young. They are just killing him on the interior. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes play. Outside Williams, Holmgren with a screen on Bay. Double team on Gilgis Alexander. Giddy, no one around him. Misses the three. Atlanta's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Murray against Giddy. A baseline chain. Murray, good. Murray. Murray's got 15 points. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's been a nail bite. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Now, there was quite a bit of shakeup in the Hawks front office last season amid rumors of discord. Jante Murray said, there's a lot of noise, but at the end of the day, winning takes care of it all. So we need to control what we can control, continue to come together as brothers, and try to go out and win basketball. Kevin, back to you. All right, that's all they can do. David, thanks. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Holmgren with a screen on Murray. Holmgren up top. Capella covering. Oklahoma City needs to get off the shot. A three-pointer is right on target. And 12 points for Williams. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. Young dishes to Capella. Murray outside. For the three. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Wants to get it to Holmgren and does. Count it and the 
the foul. That's on Clint Capella. Yeah, I mean, take that. Holmgren, he knows defenses want to rough him up a little bit, and he welcomes the challenge. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Thunder. They've shown no let up. Penetration, knife it inside. The defense has to tighten it up if they want to slow this team down. Well, looking at the stat sheet, I could just see here tonight sharing the basketball. The stat that comes up most is assists. So sometimes you have to look for your teammate. That makes things happen. They've done it. Now here's Murray. 15 points in the game. Capella, the best to Young. There's the triple. Hits the three-point bomb. Young's got it all tied up now for the Hawks. Well, if he's hitting shots from there, he becomes so much more dangerous. Young against Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren with a screen on Young. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. Yep, that one goes in there. Holmgren. Holmgren's got 21 in the game. Hawks have gone 5 of 9 on field goal attempt since halftime. Gilgis Alexander against Young. Capella finds Murray. Again, the Hawks good for two. Defensively, you're trying to prevent DeJounte from getting to the rim, but he can counter. That mid-range becomes deadly. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. Oh, Don Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Bay. And, and who doesn't love stats? Here are some numbers for William. Averaging 17 points per game, three assists and four rebounds. And he's done his share of the work for the team, definitely making an impact. Well, the numbers, if you look at them, impressive all the way around, and he's not letting the team down. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Now, here is Young. He has 35. Shot from 12. Again, the Hawks, good for two. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. 17-foot shot on the way. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. Murray, no good. But still, eventually, you got to feel like he'll start knocking those down again. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Williams. Williams, a screen on Murray. Over in the corner, Dort. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. Gilgis Alexander's got his assist totals piling up. 11 now for him. Now here's Murray. He's got 17. Great concentration from DeJounte that time. Just playing right through the contact. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Outside Williams. To the inside. And Capella sends it back. Murray with it. He's got 19. Over Giddy. Again, the miss by Murray. The Thunder with the lead. And the pass to Giddy. Williams kicks to Giddy. Double team on Kilgis Alexander. Giddy the pass to Williams. At three off the mark. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Pass to Capella. Young way outside, and that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Oklahoma City's gone outside a lot tonight, 17 times in fact, 7 of 17. On the wing, Giddy, and he's good on the three ball. Giddy's got the lead up to four now for the Thunder. Three-point shooting since the half has been about as good as you could ask for. And the rejection by Holmgren. Terrific swat from Holmgren there. Just shows you his length. Holmgren with a screen on Hunter. Gilgis Alexander finds Holmgren. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that. 
when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Here's Young, following the score by Oklahoma City. Capella with a screen on Giddy. And the dunk by Capella. Murray with a great job of the draw and dish. The Thunder leading by four. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. standings out east already we are in December we'll take a look at the Hawks down at 10th in the early going looking to make a move up in the standings well right now for the Hawks they've had an interesting season for sure they're competitive they're feisty but they're not a team that's going to dominate for long stretches I just think if you're on the other side how much are you looking at that team and saying we're scared of them so not a lot of fear from the opposition and what they're bringing to the table they're good, they compete, but do they have that extra gear? I'm not sure. And looking at that replay again, just a big time block right there. And that is a huge block. Given how close this game is, a stop like that was right on point. Passes to Bogdanovich. And he uses the glass on the way. And now just a two-point Thunder lead. Now, tough to be upset at that kind of defense. You got to credit Bogdanovich. Pretty much zoned in. Back to Giddy. Lock at six. Lock it is good. Giddy's got ten points. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. There's 154 left to play in the third. Griffin kicks to Bogdanovich. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Griffin. Trying to improve every year. That's the goal of anyone in the NBA. Bogdanovich has great fundamentals to be able to do that. Micic lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Seven points in the game. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. The Hawks trail by three. Murray dishes to Bogdanovich. Murray sets a screen for Bogdanovich. And Atlanta again with the bucket. Pretty smooth screen and roll there. Got to be up on Bogdanovich. The Thunder shooting the lights out in this building, 68% from the field. And Okongwu gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Shea Gilgis Alexander checked in for the Thunder. Coming onto the floor for your Thunder, number two, Shea Gilgis Alexander. One oh seven left in the third quarter of the game. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. And it's slammed in by Williams. 
What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man. And he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. And Murray's got the ball here for the Atlanta Hawks. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. And Okongwu has it in the corner. And they double up Murray. Six to shoot. Bogdanovich wide open. And they're unable to get the time basket there. Gilgis Alexander against Griffin. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on A.J. Griffin. He gets really smooth sometimes. Gilgis Alexander has some size. He challenged the defense with it that time. For Oklahoma City, they have been coming through at the charity strip. They've made seven of their eight attempts. And the first one at the line is good. Alexander hits them both. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Pass to Matthews. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got his fifth assist in this one. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half, getting away from the three point shot. Gorgeous Alexander, fantastic concentration. outside. Driving to the basket. Shots continuing to fall as we conclude the third quarter. Both teams putting up points. It's the Thunder up by five. And for 2K Sports, we'll be back here at Paycom Center right after this. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. We've got Williams. So Williams out there, and it's Michic in at the shooting guard position. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Now here's Matthews. Okongwu with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Kept alive. It's good. Nice touch there from Okongwu. That's an excellent play call to free him up from the defense. While well, taking advantage of that opportunity, it does not get any more high percentage than that one. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Williams kicks to Gilgis Alexander. There's the pass to Joe. Double team on Gilgis Alexander. Puts up a three. And it's Griffin with the rebound. The Hawks trail by three. Bogdanovich inside. Shot from 12. Rebound by Williams. The Thunder shooting the lights out in this building. 68% from the field. Pass to Michic. On the wing, Williams takes the three and another assist for him. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Young pass to Bogdanovich. Back to Young. Shoots over Tilgis Alexander. Superb D from Gilgis Alexander using his length to wipe away the shot. Three from Matthews. Next ball. Matthews. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both of these teams locked in on the offensive end. 
Going to be a high-scoring affair tonight. And it's Gilgis Alexander missing. Bogdanovich looking around. Pass to Matthews. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Yeah, I can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but like plenty of room. Shots good by Williams. Williams has got five points now in the quarter. And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. checked in and a change for the Hawks DeAndre Hunter he's checked in for Matthews and with an update from the sidelines let's check in with David Aldridge well during the break I listened in on Quinn Snyder's huddle I told his guys I need you all to come together right now on both ends this game is not over you need to go out there and take control now Let's see how it looks coming out the timeout guys thanks so much David and there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Here's Young, and he banks in the lane. Young's got 39. He makes it look effortless out there. Until the defense actually presents a challenge for him, expect those kind of results. The Thunder leading by five. Pass to Joe. Inside. And Holmgren possesses sky-high potential in his length and versatility, making him such an intriguing prospect. At the line for your defender, Chet Holmgren. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. One of the most unique players that we've seen, Holmgren, part of this new crop of seven-footers with skill, combines rare length and a great ability. And when you add his feel for the game, it could make him special. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Zhang's checked in. Holmgren hits them both. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Here's Young. Basket counts. Young. Young's got 41. So tricky there with the floater and a nice touch from Trey Young. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up with the Thunder. Leading by five. After this one, the oh, there he goes. He jumped. He jumped on the play like that. Wow, he was up there, Kevin. <laughs> Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. Now the pass to Young. Shoots the three. The Thunder pull it in. I think if I was coaching these guys right now, especially him, I'd tell him, you take one more three-point shot, and we're going to have some, some conversations here side by side. And great intensity here down the stretch. He's not one to shrink in the moment. Now take a look at him. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. There's Micic. He's covered by Bogdanovich. Holmgren with a screen on Bogdanovich. Four on the clock. Right side, Gilgis Alexander. Count it. Gilgis Alexander's got 46 points. Oh, with the finish line in sight, this guy is determined to be the one to put the game away. It's good, and the Thunder lead is cut down to five points. That time the bucket coming from Young. Yeah, we know Young's not the biggest guy, but 
He's good at maintaining control when he gets contact. Oklahoma City's gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Young against Gilgis Alexander. And he gets it to go. Gilgis Alexander's got 13 points here in the second half alone. The Hawks trail by seven. Young outside. Outside Griffin. The basket good off the assist from Young. For three. Ten points for A.J. Griffin. The defenders need to recognize the importance of staying on him as we get into correct time. Holmgren with a screen on Griffin. Back to Holmgren. And the jump by Holmgren. Guys, this is what you call a generational talent. Holmgren is bound to fill up the highlight reel every night he plays. have gone 7 of 13 from the field here in the fourth. Young outside for three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Young's got nine points now in the quarter. So far, he's a can't-miss player. A superb scorer who plays to his strength. Good! That's another bucket! My goodness! 50 for the end. Yep, he is putting on a show. How about the vertical of Gilgis Alexander, a guard who can get up and throw it down. Young Pastor Kongu, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. At the line for the Hawks, Onyeka Okongwu. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. For the Hawks, Bays checked in for A.J. Griffin. And Murray subbed in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. Both free throws good from Okonwu. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. And at this point of the game, getting a break here, important for the teams to regroup and for the players. This is where you have a chance to get rehydrated with Gator and get ready to play strong to finish off the game. And the Hawks making a change here. Capella's checked in. Oklahoma City leading by three. And here is Gilgis Alexander down low. And he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. How about Dort just rising up and getting to the rim? For Atlanta, they've gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Murray kicks to Bay. Young against Gilgis Alexander. The offensive rebound. Here's Capella and the dunk by Capella. Well, take your choice. You can either foul him or watch him dunk. Well, actually, in this case, you could get both. Oklahoma City has gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Murray against Giddy. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Unloads from 13. Again, Oklahoma City. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. Murray, the pass to Young. Lob pass to Capella. A pie to stop the alley -oop. This might be one of the nights for Clint Capella where his teammates actually try to get him more involved than they normally do. And it's the Thunder with the ball. It's a three-point game. Pass to Holmgren. Holmgren sets the screen for Gilgis Alexander. And the jump by Holmgren. I love the unselfishness, and you know coaches do as well. Well, not just coach, but you can see it in the teammates, the way that they look at him, they appreciate it when he shares the ball like that. 
Murray against Giddy. Murray hits to Young. Just five to shoot. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. But Trey, B, no good. The Thunder leading by five. Here's Giddy. Holmgren trying to get open. Giddy, no good. It's stolen by Jordan. One on one fast break. And Giddy gets it to go. Could come down the selection. Bad shots in the first half. Here in the second, using his head, finding some more efficient opportunities to score. And Murray's got the ball here for the Atlanta Hawks. Passes it to Young. Launches a three. Hit the putback. And it's put back up and in by Capella. And how about Capella? Not the guy you expect, but cool under pressure that time. Murray against Giddy. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And that comes off the assist by Giddy. Giddy's got three assists tonight. The Hawks trail by seven. Now, here is Young. Capella sets a screen for Young. Capella with the bucket. 19 points for Clint Capella. I mean, the stroke looks good. He's moving well out there. What a sensational start to this game. Perfect from the field. Oklahoma City's gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Gilgis Alexander against Young. Gilgis Alexander does a good job of just staying aggressive, and that just forces the defense to do something. The first one falls. Gilgis <laughs> Alexander hits them both. The Hawks trail by seven. How young. Capella with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Here's Young. And he drops it in from the low post. Young's got 48. Trey Young stepping up and delivering in a big time moment. The Thunder leading by Two five. Minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Williams sets a screen for Gilgis Alexander. Good, he hits again. Then what a night, arguably the best in franchise history. Tying the franchise mark for most points in a game. The next basket breaks it. Hawks shooting in the fourth has been tremendous, 59%. Young inside. He'll just Alexander cover. Hey, he gets the bucket. Oh, man, May needed that one, and so did the team. Gilgis Alexander with it. Outside Williams. Just a giddy. It's Dort on the wing. Holmgren. It's hauled in by Trey Young. And Capella over to Helm. Out of bounds. Atlanta will take possession. And what a time to get sloppy. A close game like this, you cannot be getting loose with the ball. Hawks trail by four. Young outside. On loads. He got it again. Sensational. My goodness. 50 for the game. Yep, he is putting on a show. Young against Gilgis Alexander. To the paint. Nine feet out. Another possession, another assist. Dishing it all 
all over the place in this one. He's tallying them up in bunches. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. They're trailing by four. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Side. Young is double. Hunter, no one around him. Good! And that shot brings them to within just one. You remember that one. Guys, a difference maker. Now I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? I think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here. Yeah, smart move. Euclid Alexander finds William. Holmes in with it. Hunter grabs the miss. So weird. Sometimes when you get that much time, it can throw you off just as much as having no time. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Just two seconds between shot clock and game. Capella with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Capella draws the double. Just three to shoot to the middle. And he slams it down right on top of Jet Holmgren. And no shakiness from Capella, built for the moment. Time call here, the Thunder decide to talk it over. They're down by one. Just two seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? Hey, guys, it all comes down to this. One shot to win the game. They have just enough time to run a play that'll lead to a catch and shoot here on the inbound. Maybe. And good! There's another in the history of the franchise have we seen a game like this. He put on a remarkable performance. It's their all-time single game scoring record. Their fans will be reliving this game for a long, long time. So a close game sees Oklahoma City taking this one. That was a fun night of basketball. Fabulous finish as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to seal it. And there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home, that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate X factor. And that about wraps it up. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, Shea Gilgis-Alexander.